Hey guys, it's Carla here, and you're getting a look into my room, and I'm sorry it's going to be shaky because I'm on my camera, but I thought it would be fun to take you along as I get ready to set up for my girls scrapbook weekend, weekend on how I get ready and prepared for the crop that I'm having here um, this weekend. Every, everyone's going to arrive on Thursday, and I just thought it would be fun to share with you how I prep for that. Now, since I don't have to travel to a destination, it's a little easier um, that I, you know, I don't have to worry about what to take, what not to take, because fortunately, I can just run upstairs. But I still like to get together what I'm working on and take down and set up at my workspace what I think I'm going to need. So I have two projects in mind that I want to work on. One is the album that will document our trip to Florida for Christmas to Disney and my dad and that's some of the stuff we walk on in that I picked up Move my chair sorry about the wiggling but um, it'll be my first oh sorry about that um, project life and I don't have an album yet but that's not a big deal but I have the big variety pack that I showed in one of my hauls and I think I'm gonna pick up another one um, here's some of the paper pad that I picked up at Joann's. Now this is the other paper collection that I just fell in love with and this is the Teresa Collins Nine and Company that I that I got a great deal on. Um, so I know I want to work on a project using some of this so I'm going to pull together some embellishments and stuff um, to go along with that. That's everything that came in the kit plus I added that gold heart washi that I bought. So I'm going to pull together some of my stuff we not only went to Disney, but we went to visit my dad as well. So I have to get my pictures printed. I'm going to do that um, tonight or tomorrow morning. But I want to pull together some of the, my Disney stuff. Even though we only went to Disney, we went to the park one day, and another day we just did Disney um, property. We went to a couple hotels and stuff like that. Took a lot of pictures of that stuff. So um, I'm going to pull that kind of stuff together. But as far as stuff from up in here that's on my desk, I will take my mats. I already carried down my Cricut and my Cricut mat. Um, I may take my Silhouette because I picked up a few different files that I may try. So I might set that up as well. I haven't decided that will probably be last minute because today's only Tuesday and everyone's not getting here until Thursday afternoon. Not sure what cricket cartridges I may set up um, in the dining room, but I can that again I can pull that down. And same thing with like my flowers and stuff like that. I probably will just pick out a few of my newer ones. I'll probably take my basket of adhesives and some my my crystal uh, my glossy accents and stuff like that. I'll probably take a basket of my basic inks. And probably leave my sprays here. I may grab a few of my punches. I know I'll get my Disney punches. And then as far as a lot of this stuff goes, I'll probably take my stickles because I use those a lot. And probably some of my chalk inks and again some of my basic punches. So I'm hoping this doesn't turn out too jumpy for you. This is the Disney paper that I the Say Cheese collection that I've been collecting over the past few months that I primarily want to use um, in the album but I also want to mix in some of this Christmas because it was Christmas um, while we were there and I don't care that it's not um, so matchy matchy that doesn't that doesn't bother me so much each individual page will be matched but from page to page it may not be so here's some of the things I just put in this sleeve um, from one of the paper packs other things that I picked up to keep it all together. Um, I'm going to spin you around. Hopefully I'm not making you sick. Down here are two drawers that are strictly Disney. So I'm probably going to go shopping. What I call shopping in my room. These are like a whole bunch of Disney stickers, embellishments, stamps, Jolie type things. As well as down here are some things that I picked up at the Disney parks, some Disney containers, 
Um, a lot of just different things. All my Disney punches, I keep them separate. Um, in here is, this is uh, um, stickers that I picked up at Disney Parks a while ago. And inside is a bunch of different ephemera pieces and stuff that I've either made or picked up along the way. And then this is a container of um, metal pieces, brads, buttons. And again, down in there is some more. Oops, my thing is in the way. So I'm going to go through some of this, pull some of this out, and make a box. Might as well grab this out and give you a better look at this. This is one of the things from the Target Dollar Spot. It's got some flares in there, some Queen & Company flowers. And you know it's all in the traditional um, Disney colors. So I'm going to put that to take that in my basket since I'm digging in here. And again, this is another one of the little containers. There's some wood veneers that were from Queen & Company, some different blings, the Mickey icons. So this definitely will be taken down. And then I have, again, some of the punches. I'm trying to hold this so I don't put this um, cover in the way. There's some more Disney brads. Now they used to sell these at the parks. So I got quite a few packs of those. So I'll probably try to use up some of this stuff in my stash. I'll take that. What else we have down in here? Some ribbons. I'll go ahead and throw that in my bag. I got these at one of the um, CK conventions, so I'll throw that in there. What else do we have down in here? We have a pack of um, chipboards. So I'll go ahead. That matches some of the other paper that I have. And I'll definitely take some of my punches. I know I'll probably definitely use this one. And I'll take this one because it's shaped a little bit different than that first one. I know I'll use the big one. These are fun to use. And I have a couple small ones. I'll take that. That's a little bit different one. I'll probably just go ahead and grab all of these. And what I'll do is get some of my baskets. And um, after I get them all pulled out, these are all different. I'm just going to stack them up here for now. And um, let's see. That one says Mickey. I'll probably just leave that one here. Here, I have two of those. I have this one. And this, I think this is a Pooh Bear one. Yeah, Pooh. So I'll take that. And then these are all different stickers. I have some Mickey outfits. Those might be fun to mess with. And Mickey and Minnie stamps. And then all these are stamps as well. These. These are um, the metal embossing plates. Might be fun to mess with those. I'll leave those here for a minute. Um, these are all stamps. These are fun to work with. So I'll go ahead and take all of these different Disney stamps that I have. And these two I love. I picked these up at the scrapbook expo several years ago they're by Hampton Art I got them for five dollars a piece I love these so I use that one I've used these on other projects before definitely put those in my okay sorry I hit the I hit the off button then these are some postcards these will be fun to incorporate in with what I already have let's see what else we have down here these are other different types of stickers uh, things that I have in my stash. Um, these will be fun to work with. I'll throw those in there. These are the little freebie stickers that I get with the Disney solicitations as well are these. And I keep these because I thought I could do something fun with these old um, movies. So um, I kept them to do something with. So I keep them down here and then there's some other, there's some Disney ribbon, playing cards, I might put those, I make um, little tags out of those before, and I'll probably leave the containers in here, I have more stamps, these are all Disney princess stamps, I'll probably just leave these up here so I don't clutter up my workspace too much, and then I'm going to go through these in a minute, go ahead and get these, I know these are 
these are old. We've had these for quite a while. Old um, cling stamps that I've had for a long, long time. Now this is all different stickers and stuff. So I'm going to come right back and um, get my workspace picked up. Because this is everything that I've pulled out. And basket this stuff up. And then um, see where else, what else to pull out that's Disney. Because I still have two other places that I keep Disney stuff. And I'll show you really quickly. In behind me on the shelf is some of the cropper hoppers full of all different types of Disney papers that I've that I've collected over the years. And these are all Disney papers and stuff. And then over here, I'm gonna walk you over. I have a whole binder from Creative Memories. That is all Disney. So I need to pull this guy out. And in there is all kinds of sticker sheets. So that I need to take downstairs as well. So let me get a little organized with what I've created the mess on my desk. And then I'll check back in with you. I need to get my shelving put together. And a couple other organizational things. So that I can keep my area um, at my crop station organized. So I'll check back in a little bit. Bye guys. Okay guys, I'm back to share with you what I put together. I have my basket full of stuff that I pulled out of my Disney drawer. It's got stickers and a lot of ribbon and metal embellishments that I had in my stash. So I have that box ready to take downstairs. And then in this little basket I have some more ephemera, some stamp sets, some of my punches that I'll be able to dig in. Then I pulled down this. I have a bunch of these um, iris stackable um, containers and then here is a bunch of um, you know scrap paper just all Disney related that I can use um, with this project these are you know leftovers from previous projects and then here is the binder that I was telling you about that I pulled out that I'm gonna take and then it is tons of old stickers you know border strips all different types of stuff and then under there is the paper pads that I recently bought so that's kind of as far as I've gotten so far I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out some of my um, more general supplies. I've already taken down a couple of my little table totes. Then down below on the floor I keep my larger tote that has you know, like a lot of my cutters and and other tools and wire cutters and all different supplies, my crop dial. And then I'm going to take all my trimmers down. So I've got a little bit of carrying to do and then I'll come back up and I'll get my shelves together to set up downstairs and then take